And what I've concentrated on here is getting the split on the inside so that it doesn't interfere with the line scribing or it can't have the possibility of filling up the water. I could have it on the outside, in which case the split would have to be facing down, but I think this is better this way. I just need a clamp to clamp those two together. This one's too far out, um, too far in, it should be further over this way. I've still got 10 centimetres I can move up here. I don't know whether I really need to or not. Undecided. The thing is really to do with where the... If I want that to meet this, that has to go all the way down to there, which is like a 4 centimetre drop. 4.3. I don't have 4.3 there, you see. But I don't have 4.3 centimetres up either. I've got 3.8, so there's going to be a little dip there, whatever I do. And since I've already cut these quite nicely now, I wonder whether I just leave it. Or I could make the, the overlap longer, that would be quite good too, actually. But it's going to be the same problem, where, whichever way. So, that can only go down 3.5, so I'll... Uh, I'll put this on it. I'll do this line scribe to 3.5 centimetres. I'm not sure I can do that actually with this. I'll have to do it in two goes anyway. Oh, that's 3.3. That's uh, maybe that's good enough. Three point four, that's better because that gives me a centimetre. Yeah, three point four. Now that'll be all right because then there's, there's no gap there then. So one of the things I've done is lined up, I've lined up the centres of these uh, pieces of timber over one another and I will uh, carry those lines up and mark and side this piece of wood, hew it, but I think I'll um, put it down onto the other piece of wood first. So again, the same as I said before, you, you have, these have, this has to be vertical, so it's no good having that against there like that, it has to be vertical. So. And just hold it out from the wood. It's quite a wide mirror, yeah, because it's called it's less likely to be perfect results having such a wide gap. Well, that's partly why I've done it on millimetre, at least a millimetre too small.
could though. Could go 10 centimetres further along here, it would give it a stronger. Shit. I think I'm going to do that actually. So let's make the most of the piece of wood. that not with an axe. I just have to cut through cut through here with the chainsaw because that's the flat bit.
got a nasty flat in the uh, in the tip of that, which is a shame because I usually use that tip. Talk about how sharp the tools are. So, well, as you can see, it still works. It's not sharp, but it's a bit much that. So I think I'll. I'll give it a bit of TLC. The millstones there. Right, well, it's that tree there I'm interested in. So I'm going to take a sample from it to see its growth pattern. It's too fast, apart from being uh, rotten, which of course it is, it's, it's too fast grown and that's actually one of the pieces of timber that's under the, uh, under the shadow of the oldest trees. So that should have slow growth, but it doesn't, which means that these, all these trees are very fast grown, so I don't think I can get timber from here. It's a little bit it's a little bit too fast grown really. I took this one though because it's a damaged tree and so you know it's gotta come down anyway really. And it's kind of near the road. If I could pull it out with the car, that was also an important factor. And there's the road you see, so it's easy to deal with. I think it's just a little bit, a bit too fast grown really. Difficult decision. I'm going to go and see a friend a bit later on who uh, maybe has 
something more suitable. But uh, as I said, the point was that this was a damaged tree that had the top had uh, broken out of it, which made it easy to bring down. Uh, all of this wood here is a little bit too too much light, too much good earth, and then also warm climate because, of course, you know it's been a warmer climate the last couple of hundred years. These houses that we're dealing with, uh, the trees grew in the 1600s when uh, it was a mini ice age, so they're bound to be slower grown. I'm not going to use any more energy on putting that out now because uh, I might get a better alternative. So it's got a bit of a wobble in it as well, and there are two. Uh, it's got two trunks further up there. So. Uh, it's been damaged before. Yeah.